Hey guys, N6QW here, and here's the PMR6A DC power supply for the PMR6A receiver. I've got it wired up, and uh, just to run a few tests here for benchmark, uh, just by way of review, this is the power transformer that's good for 100 mils, and it's five, uh, 525 either side of center tap, so you should get about half of that under load. Uh, we've got a standard toggle switch here, a little neon pilot light. A zero to 500 volt uh, DC meter. And then this is uh, some of the internals. We've got 100, uh, 10 millihenry chokes at 100 milliamps here in the supply. And we got a, a couple of dropping resistors that essentially drop the plate voltage down for the screen voltage. And there's some other voltages used in the circuit. And so that's why you have several um, uh, resistors in here to drop the voltage. And you have uh, several... Um, you have also several electrolytic capacitors. Nice little meter I got here from uh, Marlon P. Jones. Uh, I got two of them. I got one zero to 500 and then uh, one uh, that also takes me to, uh, and I got a zero of the meter here. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm, I've got a, I had calculated about 260 volts. At 100 milliamps would be uh, a resistance of uh, 2.6K. So I took four 10Ks in parallel to give me 2.5K. And uh, that's 40 watts. Each one of those is 10 watts. So that's 40 watts of load. And if you do the 100 milliamps at uh, uh, 260 volts, uh, the power uh, dissipated is about 26 watts. So first I want to turn this on and show you the no load voltage without any load. And that thing hits almost 400 volts, uh, maybe 425, something like that. So we're going to shut that off. And uh, look at that. There's hardly any bleed on that circuit. Look how uh, long it takes for uh, the voltage to go down a significant amount. So you never want to put your hand in there. And that's why there's the importance of uh, bleeder resistors in, in these circuits to, uh, to let you make sure that the the, uh, the devices are bled down thoroughly, and uh, if you do this, uh, essentially our load looks like a, a bleeder capacitor on there. And uh, so we get, uh, we get something in the neighborhood of um, uh, much less than that under load. So remember, we got a 2.5 K ohm load at 40 watts. So now you see the voltage is at... Uh, uh, the meter's off a little bit. I have to re-zero it. Um, so we're probably talking about maybe 320 volts. And that'll go down further because uh, the various resistors uh, are used to supply screen voltage. That's just essentially the plate voltage. So that'll probably drop to maybe around, oh, 270 volts, which would be just about perfect. So our neat little uh, orange or red uh, neon pilot light, I got, a, got those at all electronics. And notice that it goes, oh, look, how, look how fast that bled. Look how fast that, okay, so we're 325, and with a little bit of a load on it, yeah, that's that's what you want, a pretty good, healthy bleeder resistor. So Pete here, N6QW, uh, there's the wiring. The terminal strip in the back uh, will connect to the cable uh, that will essentially uh, have a 8-pin uh, uh, female socket on it because on the back side of the PMR6A is, is a... Um, is a male plug and you want the female because uh, when you got this thing on you don't want any voltage at the end of your plug anyway here's the uh, DC, DC supply that gives us a nice uh, 12 volts which is kind of cool and uh, it's actually adjustable there's other some other uh, functionalities on this uh, you can even plug a 5 volt fan in this thing and an LED so uh, we have I think we have a 5 volt fan around here somewhere I may plug that in and just provide some cooling so uh, just a full wave uh, rectifier here, not a bridge, full wave with a couple 1N4007s and our neat little panel meter. And there we are again. And you see it's hitting about 333 volts with only just the, the load on the plate side and not on the full amount there. So N6QW here, this is a PMR6A power supply. And if the PMR6A doesn't work, I got one heck of a nice DC supply. Seven threes.